Hi, this is Shushmita. Thanks for joining me today. Today I would like to make a video on the tools that I bought from the shop some time ago but never got a chance to use it. This is a fuse tool which comes with a rotary blade as you can see. I need to plug this in for at least 10 minutes for this to become really hot. So I bought this tool and I didn't get a chance to use it so I'm making a shaker card. So I thought this is the best time that I get it out and really use it. With that it came a ruler. Okay, this is from VR Memory Keepers. Uh, this is a ruler that will help you to align your project. If you are using a page protector like which I am going to use in this video, so it will really help you to see that you are not going like this, but actually you are following a straight line with the help of this ruler. Uh, I haven't used this so I'm going to use this in this video and see whether it works, whether it's really going to help me or not. And also I went and purchased this one. This is a heat resistant mat. Mat as well as holder. This, has, this comes with a holder. So when this thing is really hot, you can put it inside this and you're not actually damaging your workspace. So I will just turn this on. And we'll be right back as you can see that I have left this thing I've turned it on and I will wait for another 10 minutes the more is better it really needs to warm up really like it needed to be really hot so that it can run easily and can lock the ends now what I am going to also use is a page protector 6 by 6 page protector over here and I'm going to use a rectangle die so exactly I know where I'm going to run my fuse tool and also I'm going to use some of my sequins and I'm going to use today punches because apart from sequins I'm also uh, I would like also add some so uh, these are the glitter card stocks so I'm going to punch some of them from here I'm going to also use my EK tools because I really don't want any static reaction inside. So first I'm going to do is I'm going to fuse this side first. So I already have this is since this is uh, you can see one side is already sealed these two tire sides are already sealed I want to seal the third side so that I can put my uh, sequins and these things in them before I seal the fourth side as you can see it's becoming very hot I still leave it because <laughs> so I am going to this my rectangle die rectangle die here and I'm going to run inside from here I like to be very gentle I'd like to see whether no it's haven't done yet so I'm going to try one more time this has to be really hot 
This is but this thing is not hot. I'm going to cut this part off. As you can see, it has actually made me a pocket. But in order to stay more sure about it, I'm going to run this. Again. It did a really good job. Now what I'm going to do is, since I put my finger inside, I'm going to use the EK tools. And I'm going to fill this up. Now I want to fuse, I want to make it a uh, little bit here, I'm going to use this or you can use this, but I think I'll use this because like I said it will help me to see this blue lines through this, I can see that too with this one, but I could have, I could have used it this way. the margins that's on the fuse mat you see I've aligned it and I'm going to use my fuse too
it looks really amazing as you can see they really fuse this ends if I open this you'll see it is actually sealed so the glitters cannot come out this looks really amazing I'm quite happy with the project you can go and try yourself thanks for watching today